Hey everybody, welcome to the live stream again. Uh, this is the the psychic role playing game where I role play things that I see from the future and around me and in the past. So this is a, uh, the, the the memoirs and like uh, thoughts and musings of a psychic. Um, and uh, and I, I role play myself as Sabrina. The psychic Pokemon gym leader, that famous character. So I'm going to roleplay as her. And that's usually my my uh, streaming tag, like Sabrina. You can call me Sabrina. Um, and that's what I'm going to be roleplaying as. I don't have a voice changer. Uh, it would sound a lot better if I had a voice changer. And I sounded like, you know, the actual Sabrina. But I don't have a voice changer today. Um, and so we're just, we're just going to run, it, run as is. Um... But yeah, we're, we're role playing. We're role playing, um, like uh, we're role playing many different characters, uh, things that I see and hear. And so uh, some people's names might come up. Like if I say like Yuri Lowenthal is up, up to the bat, and then and then I say that he says something, I'm role playing as him. Whether or not it's true or not, it depends on whether it does happen or not, either from the future or just you know how how what have you. And so. Uh, yeah, so welcome to the Psychic Role-Playing Game, where I, Sabrina, am your host. And, um, yeah, and this is a part the beginning of a series of things that are considered uh, my line of work. So I started this podcast yesterday, and uh, right before that, I went to, I, went, I walked in front of a panel of judges, and, and, I, and, and I showed off, showed off my, my skills as a, as a psychic. And uh, they approved. They approved, like, yep, yep, uh, I'm in. And then, then they, they, they said, like, yeah, I'll have a job for the rest of my life. Like, I'll, 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 like, I don't have to worry about having a job for the rest of my life. So there'll always be a job ready for me. And so they, they, they told me stuff like that. And so this is the, be the beginning of my work as the psychic. So these podcasts are like uh, kind of like that. I'm going to do live streams once we start getting some views and like some uh, subscribers. I'm going to start doing a live stream uh, once uh, uh, it gets more popular. Uh, so, so I can answer your questions live and talk to people who want to know more about like uh, psychic isms and like uh, seeing the future is like, you know, different things like that. So, so. Um, let's see. Okay, okay. Well, let's, let's let's see who's in the psychic. Who's who's in my psychic room right now? Let's see. Let's see who's in this room. This virtual room. Uh, I see Todd Verpo. I see Colton Verpo. I see Lady Gaga. I see uh, Kitty Perry. Usually, if I see all, all like all four of them, two two people, two representatives from the right, two representatives from the left. With Katie, you know, maybe she could double for both if if she wanted to. Uh, if you want, if you want to impress people, <laughs> but maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, yeah, once I, if I see the both of them, I know it's gonna be a really nice stream, like a, a really broad spectrum kind of, kind of stream. So yeah, okay, okay, we've got at least those two, um, and and usually people like uh, come into the live stream and come, exit the live stream. It's it's like, it's not just a live stream of what, what's happening right now today. It would be cool if it was, uh, you know, like all the time. Uh, but it's not just today, it's also things from the future. And so if, if you hear yourself or if you hear me quote yourself saying something about something, it could be actually be from the future. And so it, it just keeps it keeps everyone on their toes. And, and you know, let's, it, what does a psychic do in her spare time? What does a psychic do for work if she's like conscripted? to work for like a certain for like a specific company i'm not going to tell you what company kind of hired me out but like uh i'm going to be doing psychic readings uh, i'm going to be doing like psychic isms just different things uh around the world and in in my living room <laughs> but like uh yeah yeah I'll, I'll, I'll be doing like a lot of different things a lot of different things okay okay so everyone in the room is getting cozy uh, let's, let's open up the floor for questions. Yeah, we'll start off with a question. Uh, make it broad, like a broad kind of question. Like, maybe, maybe, maybe for this thing, like, what are your psychic abilities? Yeah, just like, uh, 
you know, just just uh, opening opening podcast. Like I know some of you have been on the stream for a long time. Y'all know me. Y'all know what I do. But maybe once some some of you or some of the newer ones on the stream can ask like a like you know a candid candid honest question and, and just to get the point so you get to know me quicker. So so how about it? How about it? And and, and they said like okay okay, uh, you you go. I, Okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go. Okay, so, uh, what's your name? Uh, okay, maybe your code name, uh, unless, unless it's your real name. <laughs> well, we, okay, we have someone who wants to go by the name Armani. <laughs> okay, Armani. <laughs> How can I help you today? Hey, he's like, uh, could you tell, you could, you could you tell us what some of your abilities are? Okay. Um, now I th there's different words for um, I, I know there's people on the right and people on the left and when I say people on the right I, I mainly mean like the Christian conservative and stuff crowd and on the left is just a everyone else um, yeah okay so I know that there are so there's a subset of Christians who do not like the word psychic and do not like psychics and I mean, long story short, it's usually the crowd that knows this word, deliverance. Um, and, the, and, and another phrase, casting out demons. And so uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, that I word it differently to the left and to the right. But what I say is like psychic powers, the right could see it as pro prophetic powers. Um... That, that's all I'm going to go over for right now. Uh, those on the right are free to, you know, log off and, you know, not talk, not think about it. But I'm going to tell you, I am a psychic that's approved by God. Like, the things that I see, like, in your language, in, in, in the right's language, it's approved by God. And I can prove it. With miracles or just, you know, just prophesying and just different, different things like that. But anyway, that's, I don't want to harp too much on it. Because uh, this is for everybody, not just for people who are nitpicky on the right. If you're a little bit nitpicky, you don't have to listen. You don't have to listen. Just click away. You know, it'll, it'll be fine. But if it starts to grow and people start to say, hey, you should hear it. You should hear it. Oh, man. It's, 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 it's that psychic again. You know, just, just don't don't hate me. Don't be hating. You know, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm not trying to deceive anybody. And that should take care of most of your problems, if, if what I just said is true. But anyway, I'm not going to harp too much on it, but yeah, yeah, I am the psychic, and the things that I do are uh, not evil. Like, I've checked it with, like, biblical sources and other other sacred text sources, and, uh, you know, um, yeah, yeah. As far as I know, none of my powers are evilish, devilish, you know, if I use it responsibly. Okay, so, so. So moving into it, yeah, what do I, what can I do? Uh, I can see the future. That would be like future sight, uh, you know, just a, a very basic psychic skill. Maybe not, maybe not all psychics can do that. Uh, there, there's, there's a line of psychics now today who are like, who can't see the future. Like, like, like they, they don't actually do not specialize in seeing the future. They, they usually, they usually tell you of like, relationships like, like you know you, this girl is gonna gonna meet you and, you know they, they usually go for like psychics now like they have to make money too and usually they, they like they like almost like you know they don't want to do this but like they sell they sell themselves to prophesy things that other people want to hear and i'm doing that too but like uh I'm not gonna, uh, mine are more like governmental contracts and like company contracts, like, like company contracts that have like bylaws that prevent them from doing illegal shit. And, and, and so like, uh, you know, personal relationships, like finding a girlfriend, finding a boyfriend, I could do that too. Like I said, oh, I see like that you're in the future, there's a blonde girl or a brunette girl and uh, in your life. And I, I could do that too. The things that m most psychics usually can do like like you know just uh if, if it comes to that um but yeah most other psychics don't really get past uh just doing it for you know just 
the, the usual, just relationships and money and stuff like that. Um, I, I tend to aim a little higher. I do it for, I can do relationships, I can do money. But I'm, I'm more of like, my goal actually, one of my psychic goals, is uh, increasing the net GDP of the whole entire world. So that it, it, it's it's basically how do you how 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 do you, how do you uh, solve the problem of world hunger and feeding the poor? You you basically you ba you basically increase the GDP the net productivity of the whole entire world, and you have it all go up until all the people are rich, and uh, until most of the people are rich, and they're like so sick they have so much money they just throw it to the poor they don't need they don't need the government telling them to throw it to the poor they'll just like they'll be so they'll, they'll, they'll be like so much money sickening amounts of money <laughs> and then and, and, and they'll, they'll just give it to the poor like very naturally like, like just just smoothly and and, and that's that's the way it feel, that's why i feel like if you, you just all of a sudden live in a world where all the net gdp of everything is like you know 300 300 percent fold or like just just something like that and that, that's what I'm aiming for as like a psychic. Like I have a plan, uh, along with like so uh, one other person that I, I usually uh, talk with. But me and him have a plan to increase the net GDP of everything in the whole entire world. And it's just a specific plan, one at a time. You, it, we can tell it to you step by step, or just grand like end game kind of idea. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. Um, and this is the first time I'm using this app to record. Uh, if it drops, like, I'm gonna be really angry. I hope they don't have, like, a limit, like, an hour limit or something, or a like, 30 minute limit. I'll have to, t I'm, 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 if you see me pause and, and, and do something, uh, I'm looking at the app to see if it's gonna close, and it close, or something. Um, the app, the app is CapCut. It's a, it's a convenient app, a very convenient. I like its, I like its AI captioning features. Okay, and I, I think the captions on, on, on CapCut are really beautiful, really pretty, so so that's why I got it. Okay, okay, so, uh, yeah, so so seeing the future, I can see the future. Um, I can also see uh, spatially, like, or no, I can also see, like, uh, non-future stuff, like, things in this world. Like, if you, if you ask me to spy on your friend, I could technically spy on your friend. From where I'm at, I could see what he's doing, um, or like symbols of what he's doing. Like my psychic abilities are not just literal. Uh, you could compress a lot of future seeing stuff into like a, a. It's like what I see usually is not the actual person. It's a meme of the actual person. It's like a GIF playing in front of my eyes. Of, of, of a meme gif thing with like caption letters and stuff like, like just like epic fail and if, if i see like the words epic fail I'm like oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, and i see him epic failing but he doesn't do that exact epic fail it's like symbolic and if he were like to, if you were to like make to make a meme of himself like the story of my life he would actually make a meme almost exactly like what i saw to to, to express how utterly how, how how much it sucked to go through what he went through and and that's that's kind of like how i see it i see like memes memes symbols representations caricatures compressed like compressed knowledge all in one like little graphic or little little sequence and that, that's what i see uh how that how my brain does that or how like how my brain does that like uh some people will will understand how my brain does that like um, later, like, like once, once I talk, t t tell, I can't exp I can't tell you everything about me, but I can tell you parts of it at a time until we get, until we, you know, lay, lay the groundwork, you know, foundation and all that stuff. So yeah, so I can, okay. I can see things around me too. Not just, you know, uh, not just in the future. Um, I also can, so when I say something happens or I see something happen, there's usually two, uh, minimally for about four different ways that usually works out. It's either symbolic and, and, and a warning so that they could, they have the option to change this in their timeline. And when they change it, it doesn't happen and they become, they, they're better off because of it. 
But uh, no, and number two, number two is not just uh, it's not a warning. It is a like like some kind of weird do 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 like some kind of weird like I tell it to you. This is what I see, but your response is oh that hell that's never gonna happen, and then you just ignore it for like two years, and then then lo and behold in two years time it happens exactly like how I see it, and then the only reason you did not prevent it from happening was because you blew it off and you know on, on, on day one, and it's kind of weird because like. If, if you had only just like looked at it and, and like saw the warning signs, so I was like, okay, you could have prevented it. But it's like, it's like a prophecy that like when you hear, when you see the actual prophecy, it, it sets you on a course of it happening. Like the moment you see it. And, 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 and you try, it's not like you, you try to stop it. You actually do not have to stop it at all. And so it happens. It's like, it's, it's, it, it, it it's like, this is a status quo, and and if you're passive, you're gonna you're gonna get this, and and, and, and they're passive. They they don't do anything about it, and, and and it happens to them. And I'm sorry that it happens to them. Usually, it's things like that. It's like warning signs and like you know like like things that make people look stupid and stuff like that. Um, and and, and so I, uh, I'm just you know that, that's that's the number two. Number three, it's it's uh the person. Uh, sees it and likes it. They like it coming too fast, and so they wait on it. They they ask God. They 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 like, they like thank God or they think something, and 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 um, uh, yeah, it, it, it's something that they like and they want it to happen. And fourth is it's symbolic. It doesn't actually happen literally, but it's some kind of like metaphorical, like, like figurative kind of like mission kind of thing. Yeah, you know, just like an overarching like like mission or lesson to be learned, and and and, and you know it could either work out or not work out. So, so those are the, and you know the minimally the four the different things that usually all almost all like it, all of these four is in consideration whenever I see something, unless I otherwise explain it. I'm like, okay, okay, it's not gonna happen. You know, if if, I, if it's number one, right, where where, it's, where the guy like does everything he can to stop it. And I'm like, okay, so it's not going to happen. So I, I comfort the guy. I was like, hey, it's not going to happen. It's not one of those one of those prophecies. It, it's just, you know, now you know. It, it, you're, you're on the course to this end point. So just swerve left. <laughs> and that's all that someone really needs to do. Just like, you know, just some kind of conscious swerve left, swerve right. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's another thing. Like when I say I see something. And then a lot of it's role play. I try to make it playful. I try to make it fun. Y'all make it easy on me. Like, like y'all from the future. Like if I'm if I'm actually seeing y'all from the future, and y'all are actually role playing with me, like it's really fun when you have everyone like in the fray, um, prophesying and you know just talking all at the same time and like enjoying each other's presence and stuff like that. Like seriously, I, the other day, like in the other podcast, I said like, what happens if you put Nathan Leal uh, Dimitri Dunaman, uh, Michael Bodea, you know, you know, around like a bunch of like, you know, left, left girls, like Lady Gaga, Dua Lipa, K -K Katy Perry, <laughs> like Scarlett Johansson. They're just like, what happens if you put them all in like one room, like a one really, really like, like, like cramped little room. And then you just, and then you just, you know, for one hour, you know, with, 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 with the heavens open up and, or the jail cells open or like, or like, you know, people start liking one another. God forbid, right? <laughs> anyway, this is a fun idea. It's just a fun idea. Um, oh, and Katie, if, if I ever meet you in person in real life, um, uh, remind me to talk about, talk a little bit, talk a little bit, ask, or ask you a little bit about orange soda, uh, having a crush versus, uh, Fanta. See? Fantasy. <laughs> and I just, just, it's just a little, I don't know what that means entirely yet, but, you know, just, just, just remind me of that if we ever do meet up in person. Like, if it starts to mean something to you. Um, who else? Who else? Like, uh, oh, I need to take care of some, some things too. Like, uh, Robin Bullock, uh, be careful, uh, of your prophesyings. Cause, uh, in the past you have, you have prophesied lies in the name of God. 
or or technically not so much in the name of God. You just see that he told you. Usually that's how you say it. But uh but like uh I just want to warn you, just be careful cuz like I saw you getting hurt pretty badly. Like someone took out your eyes, someone blinded you, like stabbed out or like burned out your eyes. And that that's an extreme thing that could be symbolic. But like uh I, I just I just want you to be careful about the things you prophesy because pound for pound I looked at some of your stuff and you you didn't you, you never you never uh, say any of the red letters you know you open up a Bible is how you usually you know, you know sometimes you do but you never quote any of the red letters I, I I almost never hear you ever say any of the red letters and that's a really big red flag of like false prophetism. Or just like, you know, just a dangerous person. And the more power and the more people he's talking to. So just word of warning. Thus, uh, thus saith the Lord. Thus says the Holy Spirit. Watch yourself. What seest thou? Look. What do you see beyond your fist? And that, that's, you know, thus saith the Lord. Thus says, uh, thus says the Holy Spirit. Okay, okay. So, so that I, I do that. I'm like technically one of those. Like the, on the right, you call it up. They call they call some of those people prophets. That, that makes me a little uncomfortable. I would just say that I'm a I'm a seer. I'm a seer. Uh, very extreme. Like very. You know, if if I were to really go super extreme that and towards the right, okay, I, I'm comfortable with you calling me prophesier. Not prophet, not, you know, because I don't want to be mixed up with Jesus. But a, but a prophesier. Someone who prophesies. Um, that's if you really want to use really right, rightism kind of language. But yeah, but to everyone else, like an easy way to understand it for everyone else is the word psychic. So so I'm I'm codenamed by some organizations around around me. Um, I'm 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 nicknamed or codenamed the psychic by some people. And so yeah. And and another thing too, I know some people are monitoring me. Because of my skills and because mainly just because of the words that I usually say, like I say Obama a lot. Now usually flags, uh, like, like, like an internal, an internal like review bot, you know, kind of thing um, on your phone or wherever you are. If you have like laptops on at all times and stuff like that, like, you know, the government can do whatever it takes to uh, guarantee, you know, domestic safe, safety, homeland security, you know, just. Um, that's how they that's how they justify it. But I, I'm not I, I'm a big government fan. I, I'm not so much uh, like, like if the government goes a wall, I, I bless them. You know they don't know any better. Kind of kind of deal. Like like it doesn't scare me. I'm in good hands. Like I've seen the future. I don't ever. I won't ever die. It's what I saw for myself. Cause I you know it's an interesting thing. Like if you're a psychic, what do you do when you realize you have psychic powers? And one of the first things that I did whenever I discovered my powers and started moving in them, one of the first things that I did was I asked, or I saw, I either asked or saw it, to read the mind of God and Jesus. Like, like you know, a psychic person is like, I I'm going to read the mind that, that everyone is wanting to think. I'm going to search all of the present world. To see if Jesus is actually like, you know, I'm going to use my psychic powers to scan, uh, you know, beyond the sea, over the sea, before the sea, like, like just e everywhere, just to find like if they're, they're, you know, I would scan people's minds of like, okay, what do you know about Jesus? And then I knew I would, I would scan their mind. like, Okay, I found out what they knew about Jesus. So I, I go to the next clue. And I, I follow all these people. Like, do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? I would scan. I would scan people like Colton Burpo. But then, then, then Colton Burpo was like, "Dude, ch dude, girl, chill. I, I haven't, I haven't seen Jesus for years." Like, <laughs> yeah, Colton Burpo was like, I, "I already have enough problem as it is, like seeing him like 
you know, <laughs> while whenever I was four. I already have a lot of problems with this. I'm still getting by though. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, okay. But no, no. I would passively scan his mind to see what, like, what does Jesus actually look like? Like, t like tones of his hair color and stuff like that. Like, I, I would scan like, like different things. And, 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 and I would, I would just scan, like, 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 people who see God. I would look for people who have near death experiences and I would scan what they saw. Until I finally got to get to the point where I scan and read Jesus' mind. And I have. I've gotten to that point. And it's a beautiful thing. I think, I think like, it's, it's a mini, it's, it's a mini chapter that comes, cl comes to a close. Like, you know, I find lots of closure. Like, nice kinds of closure. Not like, not like bittersweet. Bittersweet is what I thought might, might actually be the truth. But it's actually not bittersweet. It's actually pretty sweet. It's like gravy. It's like, you know, dessert. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really great. Really great. Not too sweet, not too not sweet. It's like the perfect, the perfect, like the perfect dessert. And so, yeah, that, that's what I do. And, and, and what do you want to know? Like, I know a lot of people are starting to think like, what did you see? Oh, I'm going to tell you. That's what these, this podcast is for. I'm going to role play a lot of different things. With different people i'm going to show you by example and and by other things like what i saw but you know robin bullock uh you know practice more red letter words of jesus unless you're compromised and you have an agenda that you want to accomplish that's not so hot um just just word of warning to you uh johnny enlow um jesus is going to come back within our lifetime i don't know what you heard but like you, you spoke lies to the people like when you said like it's not the time. Like Jesus is not coming coming back soon. Uh, uh, you lied, and so I'm gonna be very serious about that. Um, Johnny Enlow, thus says the Holy Spirit. Thus says the Holy Spirit. Thus speak, thus say Yehovah. Uh, repent, except and you know, uh, except you repent, you, you shall likewise perish. And whatever that means, like I'm not I'm not saying that you'll die. But whatever, whatever it does mean, perish can mean like other ways, but it doesn't sound cool. So Johnny Enlow, repent, you know, from, from telling people Jesus is not going to come back soon. And, and just, um, another thing too, like, uh, there's a series of audios on my phone or like that's parsed and it, and it includes you. I, I prophesied concerning you for uh, many times already and other people have heard it, but like, just, just pray on it, pray on it so you can find those other audios and see what I've talked to talk what I've told told like either you or like people about you I do not slander but I, I go with what you actually did and and uh, and right now the only thing I can call you out for is Jesus is coming back way way sooner if not already here and 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 you lied to the people there like I don't know you you not you, you knew not what spirit you were of when you said that Thus says the Holy Spirit, thus saith the Lord, thus saith Yehovah, thus says the Holy Spirit. Repent. Okay. More red letter words of Jesus. Le less other stuff. More red letter words of Jesus, less other stuff. It, it, we're in the season where you need to be really super efficient. More red letter words of Jesus, less other stuff. Matthew 25. Just read Matthew 25. Just have a, have a, like a little think tank one day and just reread like like Matthew 25 to a group of Christians and ask them what the hell does this mean to you and what does it feel like you mean like do you feel like you're targeted this way this way this way like in Matthew Matthew 25 is like a three three sets of stories where like one side fails and like looks like they go to hell and the other side wins and, and so just read it and really ask people what what side they feel that they're on. And someone, you know, someone raises their hand like Johnny, Johnny. I feel I feel scared. I, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm on any of these sides. And and then you address it. You address it until you know you, you really really you really because the word because the red letters are sharp. That's why no one no pastor ever reads it. But you need you you need like for for your this is the timing is now like like you know anyway just. Just, uh, just more of the letter words of Jesus, you know, Matthew 25, go over all of that. And, and you'll find that a lot of people need your help. A lot of people need your help. But not too much. 
So I'm just gonna let you, you know, let you go on that on that note. Not let you go, but like I'm, I'm gonna, you know, let you continue to uh, do what's right. But you know, just just watch yourself. Watch yourself. Uh, and that's not a threat, though. I'm not gonna lift a finger. I'm not uh, for everyone that I'm prophesying. Even if I prophesy against you, or like you know, tell the future against you, I'm not threatening any of y'all. And 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 I'm not a big guy on pigeonholing and predestination. I don't. I don't want. I don't. I, I don't plan to predestinate any of y'all to a bad end. So whenever whenever I say anything, it is not predestination. It is not pigeonholing. It is not. It is not carving a salt like like a, a stuck path for you to follow, and you can't get out of it. It's it's basically I see what people do to y'all in the future, and what I see happen to y'all. I'm like I, I say I see it, and then we could. We could progress to fi finding a way to avoid it or finding a way to, what's the word, uh, address it. But, but if you don't, if we never get there, like, you know, you, sometimes usually if it, it's, it, it might actually happen unless it's symbolic for something else. So, so like, you know, just, it's just growing up as someone with these abilities, I've gotten used to, you know, doing it this way, but yeah. Um, and if you want to check my background, like, uh, there's not much of me online. Uh, there's some of me online, but not, not me like, like doing all of this. This is kind of new. And I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of just, I'm breaking out of my shell. And then it's, it's time for me to show myself to the world. Especially after I got like the invite or like, you know, I got the job. I got, I got a little job or a little line of work. And, and right now I'm doing it for, for, for the line of work to, you know, uh, physically earn a living or like, you know, just make out a living. But, uh, but I, I, it's not a bribe. It's not a bribe. It's, 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 it's do it's, it's legitimate work for an ability that I can do. And I've checked it with my supervisors and my, uh, you know, my spiritual leader for it. And, um, it, 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 it's, it works out. I can do it. I have permissions from all the right people. Uh, it, you know, I can do it. It's, it's not, uh, as long as I don't take bribes and, uh, other stuff. Like, you will really get, see me get serious if someone starts to, like, if, if someone goes on the stream and they like, hey, hey, I'll, 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 I'll double, I'll, I'll double that for you if you do it for me. Like, 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 I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna do it for you for free. But like, but other things, like, if, if people start, like, you know, if, if I start sensing that someone's gonna bribe me, well, well, well you, <laughs> it's funny because, if they bribe me and I'm role playing as Sabrina, like, like if they bribe a girl to prophesy for them, that's almost like <laughs> very suggestive if they do that. Like they hand a girl like Sabrina money. It's like, hey, you, you, you know, you know, like, can you do that for me? <laughs> it's just really suggestive if, if someone does that. And that's, that's like, it's, it's, it's spiritual prostitution. <laughs> or, 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 and it looks like physical prostitution. And so I'm not that desperate yet for money. I don't think I'll ever get that desperate for money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I know, I know some people have have way crazy thoughts. Um, yeah. So so we're just we're just gonna. <laughs> that sounded weird. We're gonna have a moment of silence, right? <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah, role playing as Sabrina. Um, yeah, uh, I think uh, there's some people on the right that like uh, want to ask about like what what I'm doing, like what what's what's up with this role playing as a girl and you're a guy and you know you sound like a guy. Are you a guy or are you a girl? And, you know, some people are asking questions like that. So I'll address that also. Like, all right. So the first first question was like, I see the future, I see the now, and I see uh, lessons or memes or you know stuff like that. So basically, uh, regarding people's lives about the future, thoughts in their mind. I can read minds. That's another one. I can read minds. Uh, I, I can tell. I can actually like figure out how many fingers you're holding up behind your back, and all the shenanigans that you can do with that. And, you know, you'd be you'd be like you know, you'd be like, oh, okay. You you would nod like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I get that. I get that. You know, and my answer to like how many fingers you're holding up behind your back. <laughs> 
<laughs> How many different ways can you show, show your fingers to mean fuck you? <laughs> just, just interestingly enough, like if they're being cheeky, if they're being cheeky, <laughs> I, the, uh, they like throw up two and then they change it to three or something like that. I'm like, um. I, I, I see the, uh, you, how many fingers you're holding up? I see how, the, the many fingers that mean, fuck you. <laughs> they're like, they, they smile and they're like, okay, you got me. <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do that anymore, but like, you, yeah, you got me. Like, like, yeah, just different things like that. Yeah, it's like, uh, like, you know, different things. And, and another one, like, not everyone who like does the finger behind your back, like, how, how many fingers am I holding behind my, not, not, not every one of them I want to, I want to say like, Fuck you. <laughs> Some of them, they genuinely want me to, you know, tell how many fingers they're holding up behind their back. And it was like three. I'm like, you know, I, I, I tend to like strike really, really on point. So, so if it's three, that's not what they're wanting. If it's three, like it could easily mean like, uh, like if they actually want to find a girl and they want to know if I, if I'm a psychic enough to tell them, you know, the, the girlfriend that's meant for them. And this three could be like, they're subconsciously making a W. And it's just subconscious. You'd be surprised how a lot of psychic abilities, like, like I can shortcut a lot of psychic resources if, if I could just examine their biology, examine their brain cells, and like examine their subconscious. Because cause, cause their subconscious actually like pre-programs them for like you know everything else that they do in the real life like if, if i for most people unless they unless unless they're like starting to be like kind of transcendental or like transcending to like a higher value most people if you just read their subconscious um that shortcuts a lot of psychic readings they it's a really big shortcut like 60 percent of like Things that like are, are patterned now and patterns in the near future, like can be can be deduced from like uh, you know subconscious and subliminal stuff. And so 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 like I actually don't have to expend that much psychic resources. Uh, I just I just read the subconscious and 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 you know like this guy you know holding up three hands like I I, I you know it's I just read details like they hold up the three hands and then they're like kind of trembling as they're doing it, and and I just read that and I'm like. Three, mom, dad, and a baby is what I think I'm seeing. Three. And it's a guy that's like, you know, he's looking for a woman, but not just a woman, but, you know, just like, yeah, just all that because of like his three looks like a W. It's not like, it's not like the, the like the, the victory sign with the thumb up, like kind of three. It's like the, it's like the W three. And yeah, just little subliminal stuff like that. That like they don't plan to actually show me that, but they kind of just like let it spill. Like the subconscious is crying out for that, and it, and it just spills out in like subliminal stuff like this. So so yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna end I'm gonna end this this episode of the podcast on that note. Like 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 you know just just like, like that's a neat thing that like I, I, that some people have just learned. If you can read, like, like when you read someone, like, how, it just depends on how you can read. Do you read their brain cells, or do you read like their not their brain cells, like more than just their brain cells? Do you see the future of what those brain cells will start to storm storm into, like, like you know, like just develop into? You, you know, when you when you have psychic powers and you're testing your psychic powers and you're aiming, what do you what do you aim at? What do you focus on? And for most people, for most people, if it's like a caring, emotional kind of thing, I look at the subconscious. I, I examine, like, I exam, I look at their, I look at their head, and I'm like, uh, you know, I just like, I just stare at it really quickly, just to get a scan, and you know, just I, I look at their subconscious usually. Sixty percent, it's it works for sixty percent of all like readings, because they're not looking for something in the future that they can't grab now. And, and, and most of them now is a culmination of a lot of subconscious needs. Anyway, so, so yeah, that, take, you can take that to the bank. Like if you're, if you're a blossoming psychic who wants to bless people and if you're a blossoming like Christian dude who wants to use, uh, I think that the word is prophesying 
to to bless people like literally if you if you ask god to target like what is this guy crying out subconsciously and if you ask like your god that or if you ask like or you know if you're just if you're just wanting to bless people with it and you ask then then sometimes you know you, you, you'll 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 get an answer from their subconscious or you'll you'll get an answer and it's related to their subconscious anyway so i'm just gonna end on that note um that, 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 that's something worth 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 noting. Uh, we're at 40 minutes, and so I'm just going to end it there, and I'm going to start another live stream. Or no, I'm going to start another podcast. So cool. All right, all right. Great, great job, everyone. Uh, thank you for make, making this easy on me. <laughs> I didn't get a lot of interruptions. I did, I did not get a lot of phone calls. I, you know, when, when stuff and signs like that start happening, I'm like... Dude, some people be, be raging. Some people be angry at me. Is what it looks like. All right, all right. Cool deal. Cool deal. Let's 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 end the, let's end this this on that note.